Hey guys, how's it here? Bringing you another video. Now, today's extra video is something that I've actually been looking forward to for a couple of days. I just had like spare footage that I wanted to get out, uh, like the Rank 3s video. Uh, but basically, this video is a discussion, uh, but it's a bit more than that. It's kind of like a look back in history, a little bit a look back in time of my own account in League. The idea of this is to look back at champions I've played throughout the seasons and uh, give you guys the power uh, to kind of talk about what champions you want to see on the channel. Um, so below in the description, there'll be a QT that you can go talk on and you can let me know what champions you want me to play. What runes do you think are good for them? You know, let me all, let me know all that stuff because there's a lot of research going on. And if, if, if I have to research 25 champions that I want to play, it, it, you know, you guys can help me out and say what runes might be good with them and stuff like that. Uh, but what we're going to do, we're going to look through all the seasons of ranks that I've played. And what you guys can do is, you know, I'll be talking about some key champions that I think are pretty important. And I remember them being important for me climbing. Uh, or I just have general fun with them. Uh, but if you guys see champions, you're like, oh, Huzz has played that in ranked. I want to see him play that. Comment on the QT. You can use the YouTube comments and stuff like that if you want as well. And I'll look through them all and like pick a handful of champions, probably more than a handful. We've got 10 weeks of content to do uh, and just play them the, the way that you guys want. You know, if it's not troll, obviously, uh, and just kind of have fun with it, research. And the idea is to build a good champion pool for season eight. Like that's the whole idea. Um... So yeah, that should be fun. Just to mention, the reason why, if you want to go on the QT, make sure one, you follow me on the QT. That always helps. Uh, but secondly, there is always a chance to win some riot points on the QT. Uh, for good comments, good interaction, stuff like that, we do reward people that way. Uh, and just to mention, one thing I'm going to be doing moving forward is I'm actually going to be starting to show the person who wins riot points in the next discussion. So whoever wins riot points for discussing this topic in the next discussion video, I'll actually have you on screen uh, your name uh, on QT because I actually have had problems with talking to people on QT, like them redeeming their riot points because people just don't pay attention. Um, so yeah, go comment on the QT. Let me know. There'll be a vote poll on the right as well. Maybe a couple of them. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you do, let me know because uh, it's kind of a cool video. Look back in time. We're probably going to shock myself a little bit by some of the champions that I played. Uh, but I don't want to make this video too long. So I will already say we're going to probably be skipping through the early seasons um, quite a lot. Uh, so this is season one. Honestly, there's no point looking at season one. I played six ranked games. I lost all six. Uh, if I finished my placements all 10 games, I would have been the lowest rating you possibly could have got. Uh, season two, it's worth looking at there a little bit, but not like anything of note. In season two, I achieved high silver. I was one win away from gold. There was no promotion series back in season two. It was just you have to achieve a certain rating and you got the, the other rating. I didn't achieve gold. I was one game away from it. And the reason why I didn't go for it is because I didn't care about about League at the time. Uh, I was a World of Warcraft player back then and uh, what actually happened in between season two and season three is when I quit quit World of Warcraft and League became my main game. So in hindsight, I, I regretted it a lot. Uh, but it's, some champions are worth noting here. Obviously, a lot of them have changed from season two. But if you want me to play like a Severe or Graves Jungle or Kennen, let me know. Again, th these are champions that I do have some interest in. Like, obviously, it has changed. Like, I have no interest in New Deer and stuff like that. But a lot of them I still do. So if, there, if there's any champions here that you're like, oh, Huzz played that, forget about Master Yi as well. Uh, let me know and I will most likely, you know, take it into consideration and uh, potentially play it. Um, but again, this was a long time ago. Probably about 50% of these champions are completely different to what they are now. Uh, but yeah, you, you will see like the occasional weird pick like Master Yi or Because again, I was a new player back then. I played more basic champions at the beginning. Um, and then you'll kind of start to see them phased out as I got more understanding of the game. And that's how I think those champions should be treated. They're good like training wheel champions, like your little bicycle like training wheels. But apart from that, you know, there are better champions by far. Season 3 is where I actually say we can probably start this video properly because Season 3 was the first season I got Diamond. Uh, so you can see up here all my Diamond achievements. Season 3, Season 4, Season 5, Season 6, blah, blah, blah. I really wish that said Season 7 Master, but hopefully Season 8 Master will be there. Um, so yeah, from Season 2, we were Silver. We got to Diamond 1 in Season 3. That was our peak. 
Uh, I think it wasn't very high. Like, I think our peak in Diamond World was only like 34 points or 37 points or something like that. Or, no, it was 47. 47, I remember now. Uh, so I got Diamond 1 47 LP as my peak in this season. Obviously, this season we did better. We got 87 LP. Uh, but if you see any picks here that you're like, oh, I want to see Huzz on that with a new rune system. Again, this is how you can discuss it. Um, so you got the Lee Sin that I'm sure a lot of people obviously knew me more for. Again, some people will look at win rates and go, Huzz, I thought your Lee was good. What's with a 50-50 win rate? Again, win rates can be deceiving. You can climb with a champion, have a very good win rate. And when you get to your rating you belong in, you can Continue playing that champion you're probably going to lose more right so if i had a really good win rate on lee sin getting to diamond one i'm going to start losing more games because that's the rating i deserve therefore my win rate is going to level out that's kind of how it works got a lease haven't played a lease in a really long time i know i have seen i think the occasional comment of huz you should play a lease again jarvan i think jarvan could be quite strong with the new summoners um with the executioner potentially so let me know if you want to see Jarvan. Vi is actually a pick that also may, may make a comeback with going basically pure damage Vi from what I can kind of tell uh, potentially like going the damage runes Triforce Warrior uh, Yumu's like all in damage and seeing how much you can do that's potentially pretty strong I think. Uh, Zed, so Zed is a champion that I used to play. Obviously, we've we've made some sh fancy plays. I think the season three was the season that I got a Zed play on one of those montage videos that people do because uh, it was a pretty good play. Um, so if you want me to play Zed, let me know. You got Gragas, Kazix. That was Kazix in the mid lane, by the way. That wasn't Kazix jungle. Rise was the old Rise, Renekton, Twitch AD Carry, there's Kale. Again, if you want me to play AD Carry, pretty much if you want me to play any role, just let me know what you want me to play, because I'll do the research. Again, you can help me by that by saying what you think is good. Maybe do a bit of research yourself and then comment. Um, but I'm open to anything, because the whole idea of preseason is experimentation, it's testing. It's kind of going in and going, what is good? And uh, that's, the, that's the fun of it. So again, let me know. Whatever role it is, you know, obviously support probably not as much, but I, I might, you know, I've got an autofill. So if I have a couple of support picks that I know, okay, people want me to play that. When I'm autofilled, I'll play that. Uh, you got Shivana, Ari, Oriana, Annie a bit. I probably will play an Annie game because I think she's very good for basic league players. Um, and I want to see how she is with the new rune system. So I probably will do that. Uh, Zach, just wait, Jace. Uh, so if you see any of champions here that you're kind of like, oh, I like that, comment. On the QT, let me know uh, how you want me to play them. What do you think is good? And I'll look into it. And if I think, oh, okay, that, that should be fun, then I will play it. But the reason why I'm showing you all the ranked champions that I've played is because it gives you an idea of I potentially have a little bit of an interest in them. Obviously, the more games played, I have a bigger interest, so I'll more likely play them. But even if I've got a handful of games on a champion, it means that I must have a little bit of an interest, especially the closer we get to Season 7. Season 4... Uh, so Lee Sin, Shivana, Aurelia, Vi. So some of them are kind of emerging as, you know, prominent picks in my champion pool. Renekton. Bad win rate, apparently. Uh, Kha'Zix. I think now this was Kha'Zix jungle. This is when he got reworked into a jungler. You can tell that by the farm has gone down. It was 150 average, now down to 40. So if you want me to play Kha'Zix in the jungle, let me know. Rise, that would have been old Rise. Jace, Elise, Ziggs, Aatrox. I thoroughly enjoy Aatrox as a champion. Uh, I like his design, I like his kit technically, but he's just not very strong. He's just too weak. So even if people go, oh look, your Aatrox was strong in Season 4, why don't you play Aatrox? I probably won't. Like, he's just too weak. There's just better picks than him. Uh, if you're an Aatrox main, then fair enough, because that's all you play, or a one-trick, whatever. I'm not that. I'm looking for a equal strength champion pool. And Aatrox is not going to be equal strength for a lot of champions. Uh, Rengar's there a bit, but the negative win rate... Uh, Jax, Wukong, Yasuo for some reason, no idea. Gragas, Nidley, there's the Zed again, so Zed maybe. Lulu, that was Lane Lulu, I think top lane. Mundo, LeBlanc, Rihanna, Syndra, Pantheon randomly, I don't know why he's there. Nah, Thresh, Jinx, Kale once again, I do know I want to test Kale. And yeah, again, if you want to see any of these picks, just kind of slow down the video, look for yourself and go, okay, Huz played that a little bit, he, he might have a little bit of interest in that champion, I'm going to comment that one. I want to see Huzz on that. Let me know. 
Let's go on to another season, season five. So we are nearing more like relevant picks here. We've got Leeson again, negative win rate. Again, we probably used him to climb and then it leveled out and then our win rate became negative. Uh, Victor, haven't played Victor in a really long time. I played Victor before he was popular. Uh, I enjoy him thoroughly. So potentially Victor might be in the works. Nara again, Alawi. I loved Alawi on launch. Problem is Alawi's not very good in high rating. So I don't know if I'll touch her or not. Maybe again, like I said, this whole preseason content doesn't necessarily have to be on my main account. If I jump on a smurf and see how she does maybe people will be interested in that don't know aurelia sejuani nearly tristana a bit of ad carry and nivia there's another ad carry lucian a bit of diana i haven't looked into diana at all maybe worth looking into Jarvan and volley bear the problem with volley bear he probably needs a rework before i probably touch him he's just too easy to counter like udir so i i doubt i touch volley bear uh, Mundo, Olaf, Carthus, Scion. That might be the new Scion, potentially. I, again, I, I think it would be. Uh, I'm pretty sure the Scion got reworked in Season 4, or might be Season 5. And that's maybe why I was playing him. Uh, so Z, my Zed's dropped off, and I do vaguely remember I, I dropped Zed very early on in the season because I just simply wasn't performing with him. Uh, I got Jax. That I, I think Jax is probably going to be quite strong. With all the changes we saw uh, in, I think it was today's episode, the Jace episode, that there was a Jack's jungle that just took over the game. Uh, Rek'Sai, not good win rate there. Graves, Trundle, he potentially could be strong, actually. I haven't thought about Trundle. Okay, let me know. Uh, randomly, a Garen, don't know why that's there. Nautilus, that was, you know, pretty good. I haven't seen Nautilus in a while. Shen, haven't thought about Shen either. Is Shen going to be good? Maybe. Uh, with his ultimate, you know, will he got ultimate cap, get a reduced ultimate? Hmm, that's interesting. Worth kind of thinking about, isn't it? Season 6, so even more relevant. So Gangplank, I will just say right now, you don't need to comment about Gangplank. Gangplank is coming back. I'll probably be recording a game of him today. By the time you see this video, it's probably already happened. Uh, you got Carthus, Zanivia, Lee Sin, Lux, Gragas, Renekton. There's a bit of brand, potentially. Victor with a terrible win rate. Misfortune AD carry. I remember I played, you know, a little bit of her. Graves. I probably will play some Graves because of the Victoria skin coming out. Uh, you got Velkos, Ari. There's Mundo again. There's Kale. Kale has always been a good win rate for me. And I, I do want to test her again. Today's video was supposed to be a Kale video, but it got taken away from me. Uh, Aurelia, Zach, Poppy, Fizz, Fiora, maybe. Uh, Nar with a terrible win rate. Five losses. Volibear randomly again. Echo. Haven't thought about Echo. Haven't thought about Swain. Again, let me know. Uh, anything else worth kind of noting? Because again, a lot of these picks are kind of same picks. You know, not a lot is kind of new. Um, but yeah, if you just see anything that you're like, oh, that, that could be cool. Let me know. And then the more, the, 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 the most recent season, if there's any picks that I played in the last season that you're like, I want to see Huzz do an updated version of that, again, let me know. So probably Malzahar, I played a lot of him. Uh, Ziggs, probably will do one of that. Pro what I would probably say is the more likely champions you're going to see videos on about how they are in the new season with preseason are like these top 10. Like Some of them know, like Nautilus probably know, but... Probably like the top 15 champions that I played in Season 7, I probably will like look into in more detail. Because obviously I've got a good interest in these champions. Uh, obviously Gangplank had a really rough season last season, but he uh, he potentially is back really big. Darius I'd be interested in. Zerath I'm interested in. These three I'm interested in. Uh, Ramus potentially, but I think the meta is moving away from that. I think it's going more tank or, um, damage orientated. Uh, you got Renekton again. you got Shen again. I've said interest. Jace. Poppy. Uh, but that's pretty much it. So if, again, if there's any champions here that you're like, oh, okay, apparently as well, I will say Yorick. Apparent Riot, Riot themselves has said Yorick is the most broken champion in the game right now. So I might try Yorick as well. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, and again, just to remind everybody, don't overreact if something is really broken. Because again, it doesn't matter. We're in preseason. The idea of it is stuff to get broken now so they can fix it before the actual season arrives. So yeah, don't panic. You know, preseason doesn't really matter. Uh, it's for testing. It's basically the PB is brought to live for uh, like two months. Uh, but anything else you might see, let me know. I'll potentially play them, look into them, research them, see how they are. My two Rengar games last season both went very well, so he'll be back. Uh, and yeah, let me know. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If anything, you got a little bit of a brief history of what champions I've played in League, which is kind of interesting. You know, even me, I've been surprised with some champions uh, of that I played in the past. But anyway, that's going to be it. If you guys did enjoy, throw a like on it. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.